moving Baltimore forward post Freddie Gray riots and collaborating on solutions. Morgan State University President David Wilson announced a task force including students, faculty and administrators to develop short and long term strategies to address the city's challenges. And Dr. Maurice Taylor, Vice President for Economic Outreach and Engagement is here to discuss this task force and first off, Thank you for coming in, Doctor. Absolutely. My he's, a, he's an old neighbor, Gene Fugit, old That's Cardinal right. Gibbons. That's there right. you go. That's right. Hey, listen, you saw Trang's report. Were you surprised with the number of people moving into the city? Not, not really. Uh, more, uh, Baltimore has a great history and many, many attractions. And so part of what Morgan is about is about enhancing those uh, activities. That's exactly uh, what we're doing. All right. Is that one of the issues that your, your task force is going to tackle? Well, well, yes. Uh, Morgan has uh, 10 schools and 16 doctoral programs, among which include architecture, engineering. So we are perfectly poised to address some of these long-term and short-term issues for the city. Doctor, what led to this formation? Well, like so many of the uh, folk and citizens and institutions in Baltimore, we were concerned about what we saw happening. Now, we're not confused by this. You know, we've got bookend problems. On one hand, uh, the loss of jobs. My mm -hmm. father used to work at, uh, at the CMP telephone company across from uh, Douglas and, uh, and Mondawmin. Yeah. Uh, we used to live, in fact, in Pennsylvania and North when, until I was yeah. two years old. So we know what, uh, what these issues are, and uh, the, the president, in his wisdom, thought, well, given, our, given Morgan's resources, we need to be uh, out front uh, in this effort. And uh, Morgan State University students have been out front in the marches for Michael Brown and for Freddie Gray. What else are they doing in the community? Well, well, you should know, Jamie, of course, uh, anyone who knows anything about Morgan students know that we have a history of our students being very active in the issues. We were out front in terms of desegregating uh, aspects of the city. And so now our students are engaged, for example, in our community health program. Our students are engaged in some of the efforts to abate uh, uh, lead paint and to make certain that the students, the health disparities are addressed in the city. Our architecture students were uh, engaged in the, uh, the uh, various activities around rehabbing uh, facilities and design, engineering students. So our, our students are, wherever you point, as our dean of social work likes right. to say, our students are everywhere. Everywhere. Real quick, let, let me just ask you, when will the findings of this task force be released and will the mayor take a peek at it? The president asked that we do a interim, give him an interim book report in December and a final report by the end of the spring term. And I'm, I don't want to speak for the mayor or the president, but I'm certain that uh, part of the effort here is to communicate with the mayor about our findings. Doctor has been there 24 years in Morgan. Keep it going, all right? You're doing great for us. You're doing great for everybody.